What's up internet? I am Manish from rebellionrider.com. Till so far, we have seen how to extend a collection and delete elements from the collection. Now, it's time to learn how to trim elements from the PL SQL collection. So, without further ado, let's start the tutorial and learn what PL SQL collection method trim is. Trim is an overloaded procedure using which you can remove one or more elements from the end of the collection. As PL SQL collection method trim is an overloaded procedure, thus we can call it by two different ways. These two different calls of trim procedure are first trim procedure without parameter. If we use trim procedure without any parameter, then it will remove only one element from the end of the collection with which it is used. Second, trim procedure with one parameter. Trim procedure called by passing one argument will remove number of elements from the end of the collection as specified by the parameter. You are looking confused. Don't worry, we will do the examples of both these procedure calls. But before that, I want to take a quick second and ask you to like this video as this will motivate me to keep doing my work and produce more such videos for you. And if you are new here on this channel, then go ahead and subscribe. That being said, let's do the examples of PL SQL collection method trim in Oracle database. In the first example, we will see how to use trim procedure without parameter with nested table. So here we have our nested table. We also have five numeric elements stored into this table. For those of you who have no idea what is a nested table, then go ahead and watch PL SQL Tutorial 51. Link is in the description. Now, next we will write the execution section of this program. In this section, using for loop, we will print the elements of this nested table. This is just to ensure that everything is okay and all the elements are properly stored. Let's do it. On execution, this will print all the 5 elements on the output screen if there is no error. Let's execute. So here we have our result which shows all the 5 elements of our nested table. As you can see, we haven't used the PL SQL collection method trim yet. So let's modify this code and use the trim method. Here we have our collection method trim. Like other collection methods, to use the trim method, we use the dot notation, where we first write the name of the collection object, which is nt underscore obj, followed by the dot, and then the name of the method, which is trim. We use the trim method before the loop, because in this way, we can easily see whether collection method trim has done its work or not. If this procedure has trimmed the element from the end of the collection, then we will see only 4 elements in the output. Otherwise, we will either have an error or all 5 elements. Let's execute and see the result. Here we are. We only have 4 elements in our output. This shows that PL SQL collection method trim without parameter will remove one element from the end of the collection. Now let's move ahead and do the second example. As I said above, trim procedure called by passing one argument will remove the number of elements from the end of the collection as specified by the parameter. That argument must be a valid integer number. Also, it should not be greater than the maximum number of elements that your collection has. Let's save the time and use the same code by modifying it for the demonstration. Yeah. 
Here we have modified the collection method trims procedure call and passed numeric 3 as the argument. Which means on execution this procedure call will remove the last three elements from our collection nested table. Let's execute and see the result. Here is our result. As you can see this result set consists of only first two elements of our collection. The last three elements have been removed successfully. That is how we use PL SQL collection method trim in Oracle database. Before winding up this tutorial, let's learn one more thing. Can you guess what will happen if we pass the argument greater than the total number of elements of the collection? Let's try and see. The total number of elements that our collection nested table is holding right now is 5. Now let's try to pass 6 as argument in the collection method trim and see the result. Here we are. That's for sure that we are going to get an error. But the question here is that what will be that error? That's what we are going to find out now. Let's execute and see. This is the result. Here we got an error which is aura-06533 subscript beyond count. I showed you this because you can expect such questions in your certification. So I thought why not show it to you right here. You can find out more such questions and their answers on the blog whose link is in the description. Wait, have you checked out the video I uploaded on my Facebook page? Here it is. Hey guys, as you know the current series on PL SQL collection which we are doing on our YouTube channel is about to get finished. One more tutorial to go and it do go ahead and watch the full video and don't forget to comment your suggestions. Link again is in the description. Anyways, with this tutorial you have mastered the PL SQL collection API. I hope you have gone through all the tutorials of this series. And if not, then what are you waiting for? Go ahead and do it right away. That tutorial on collection method trim is the last one in the PL SQL collection series. Hope you learned something new. Do make sure to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.